My name is Hannah Fry. I'm Dara O'Brien. And we have been working on a new series of Curious Cases, which is, um, well, on Radio 4 and a podcast. Yes, also available on BBC Sounds. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, this is what I would call a um, mathematician's takeover of the show, <laughs> um, because both of us have mathematical backgrounds. Have no idea how anything biological works. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> Icky. It's horrible stuff. I know one row of the periodic table and that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From a bubble physicist to a bubbleologist, what have been the strangest job titles you've encountered on your show? Like the weirdest jobs generally, there isn't a topic you can pick for these things that doesn't have somebody who's devoted their life to study it. That is one of the more reassuring things. Oh, we need to think about houseflies. Well, I can find you an, an expert on houseflies. Oh, God, she's, she was she's amazing. amazing. She's really, really good. <laughs> she came in with about 50 of them. Yeah, I know, yeah. And got really angry when I said, mentioned swatting. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so any topic you have, there's somebody who's, who's really good at yeah. whatever you have. Yeah. I, I don't know what her title was, though. We did the other, we, we did the other week, though, we had a. Uh, Psycho meteorologist. Yes. Um, which is basically somebody who studies how the weather affects your mood. Yeah, not like a meteorologist who's like a bit off the rails, like they, yeah. Uh, yeah, not like I mean we've all met them, but there's more like how it affects your mood mm. and your and your thing. I mean he justified. Yeah. The weather genuinely affects people's uh, psychology. It, it, it's a totally legit thing. That's the other thing. They're all totally legit. The fly lady, the lightning guy, uh, the mirrors people. They're all, you know, all they're, they're really good Real at what they people. do. Yeah, they're doing really, really cool things just in small parts of science. It's great. An amazing thing with science is you often get nominative determinism. I once spoke to a Dr. Bang who was a specialist in exploding lakes. You know, they did actually study that. They did actually look. Uh, they, uh, someone did, like, uh, they kind of scraped all academic papers and they looked for uh, names of people that were associated with what they were studying. And it, it is a legit thing. And I think it's like, it's sort of, there's a bit of a cause and effect thing going on there, right? Because I think if my name was Dr. Bang, I mean, yeah. either yeah. OnlyFans or... <laughs> <laughs> or explosions. Captain Hook, like... Uh, was born Captain Hook, and then ironically, pff, crocodile bites off his hand. Yeah, but the thing is, a crocodile bites off his hand, right? He could have gone for a normal prosthetic. Yeah, he could have. But no, yeah. Yeah. no, he's like, you know what? This is the moment I, I was born for. Occasionally, he drinks in the pirate bar with Captain Hand. He goes, <laughs> "You were unlucky there, mate." Like <laughs> as he lifts up his <laughs> pint of grog. Sometimes answers can get pretty far off track. What's the deepest rabbit hole you've gone down, and how did it become so unhinged? Sometimes the questions themselves are quite unhinged. Yeah. Like that bubble one, the question was, let me see if I can remember, could you put a bubble around the earth uh, in order to protect the planet from climate change? Yes. I mean, that's... You're, 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 that, that's blue sky thinking. That's yeah, pretty... That's, well, that's well a, not blue sky, it's bubble sky. Yeah, yeah. The, um, and it's, yeah, so it gets pretty big. I mean, and it allows you to go from ickle bubbles and, you know, all the way up to that. But a lot of them are, yeah, are just what was the shiniest thing in the universe, which, mm. you know, you know, went to what, what is a mirror, like or whatever, which I, I, I never knew. You know, the, you know the, the mirror is the metal thing. The mirror is not the glass. That, I'm sorry, I'm still <laughs> slightly mind blown that the glass is just there to protect the metal thing. The glass is there to protect the mirror. I thought the glass was the mirror. <laughs> I, thought, I think it was happening with the light refracting, whatever. And no, but it's, it's actually, there's a shiny thing behind the glass. All I'm saying is our motto is silly about the serious things and <laughs> serious about the silly things. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you find you're now walking around looking at mundane things in a brand new light? Well, we were having this conversation earlier about like, um, about how Sandy Toxvig, you know, will be sitting at a table and be like, oh, I wonder how that table is made and start Googling the table and then be like, well, what's, what's going on? I think I've done that forever. Right, okay. Yeah. I, I, I get just enough so that I'm armed in social circumstances. They, uh, it's grand. And then I have to just, just imagine myself winning things or <laughs> playing a football match or, oh, I've got the <laughs> and like daydream instead, like properly, yeah, daydream. Yeah, I think right. there's a peak moment at where you're you're most fun at parties, and I think I've I think if you have too much knowledge, you become extremely yeah, boring again. Yeah. Oh, uh, funny you should uh, <laughs> mention that because uh, that uh, the, the only way they make that is uh, yeah. there, there are monks who uh, go away. Stop, stop talking now. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> yeah. What's been your favourite episode so far? Do you know I really like the one that we did today. Today, uh, series two, so sorry, you've got to wait ages for it. Um, but it was about lying, and it was about whether only humans lie. 
And I can't give you the answer, you've got to wait till next year. While I've enjoyed all of them for the randomness of it, the, uh, we did an episode which goes out in series two about relativity. The, uh, and that was probably the only bit of academic stuff that I can claim any kind of ownership of because I properly had to go over it and, and do And so that was really nice to go. And also because it became very silly. I made, I forced it into <laughs> silliness. I made, you know, all the hypotheticals. Oh, what if a spaceship is traveling? In? All of them were filled with clowns. Mm. I made everything about clowns. It's true. What if a clown is traveling near the speed of light? It say. actually sort of worked. I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> sort of, I think in the future, textbooks will be written on that basis. Ooh, all, all the little illustrations they have in, in physics textbooks of, you know, things sliding down a hill. You know, clown. Uh, <laughs> it'll just be a clown. It'll be a clown on a, on a thing rolling down a hill. And what's the friction? What's the friction? Vectors working. And how will the clown be if you, if you spun the clown? You know, yeah, I think it's all going to be clowns from here on in. Is shower thought thinking a good basis for a scientist? What, curiosity? Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, totally. And it's also, um, you know, we're, we're big champions of it and we're big champions of people of all ages doing this because it is very easy to be really curious when you're like up to, up to about 12 and then be too cool for it and I don't ask questions anymore. At the, uh, and we just want to get people over that hump into just being mm. back to being curious again. Yeah, I mean, I also think that like science programming, like historically has been quite upright. It's been quite like, you know, sort of here's the science and it's over to you. But I, but I really do think that actually there is uh, lots of room to play around with ideas and like to just be, just follow that curiosity and see where it goes. And that's kind of what we want to do with the show.